Hello Leos. This is your reading for the 5th through the 7th. This is for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. If you guys are new, welcome. Please like, share, subscribe, comment. Thank you guys, as always, for coming. Hope everybody is doing well. Especially after this retrograde. Still some residual energy, but um, things, things will progressively get better through the month, I feel, of April. We have death there, Scorpio energy. I'm feeling that something has definitely um, ended in your life. Um, just things that just were not working for you any longer. Okay, I'm feeling definitely that there's something that you guys are wanting to um, either end from the past or change uh, regarding the past, okay? We have the Knight of Swords here, okay? Could be an Aquarius energy that um, you guys are wanting to communicate with here. Maybe somebody who, you know, you haven't been speaking to for a while. Something that things have ended. Somebody that with things have ended with, with the world being here. Um, I'm getting that uh, you guys are wanting to start over for a while. You want to be single. Okay. But there's definitely someone I feel from the past that you guys have been uh, thinking about a lot here. But there's been some hesitation um, in regards to this individual. I'm feeling strong Scorpio energy. Scorpio, Taurus, maybe, okay, Piscean energies here as well, Virgo, that I'm looking at, um, but there's somebody here that I feel like you guys, you know, you were kind of on hiatus from for a while, okay, you didn't really know, you weren't decided, you know, about this, this person, okay, but I'm getting now that something has changed in you guys, there's something that has ended here, and um, you guys are wanting to communicate something with someone, and you're anxious to do it, okay, then we have the Queen of Swords energy there, somebody that currently has their back turned to you, but you know what, I'm getting that this person expects you guys, okay, they expect you. Um, they expect you to come with some truth and be straightforward, though. That's the thing. They're not moving towards you. They're waiting on you, from what I see here. Eight of Wands. Um, but this is the thing. They're not standing still waiting on you guys. This person is steady moving forward. What it is is that they are expecting you. Okay? But this person definitely has forward movement. This person may be traveling. Um, this person may be communicating. But there's something that this person is also, I feel, trying to complete, trying to wrap up um, in their life. Okay? Let's see. Please show me more about death here. Please show me more about death. The Queen of Wands. Either this is you guys, or this is, um, it could be another fire sign like yourself, that there's something that you are wanting to address something with. Um, somebody that, you know, maybe you've changed your mind about them. Maybe that's what's ended. The way that you think about this person, like that has, one way that you thought about them has ended and now you think something differently about them but there's definitely an ending um, and change in a situation regarding this fire energy okay whether it's yours or whether it's uh, some this is another person Aries Leo Sagittarius energy okay I saw the Knight of Cups with both of them definitely feeling you guys are wanting to communicate something about how you feel towards this person okay Please show me more about the Knight of Swords. Please show me more about the Knight of Swords. The Eight of Pentacles. You guys feel protective over this individual. There's something that you want to work with this person. 
you want to protect this person. You want to protect your investment that you already have with this person. This is definitely somebody from the past. You feel like this person has been loyal to you. You feel like this person is good for you, that you guys can actually grow together, establish something very solid together. This person's very resourceful. Did they work hard? I feel that you guys have definitely been working on yourselves, and there's something about you that you have changed as well. Okay. Please show me more about the Queen of Swords. You have two people here now, but I don't really get that this is is two people. What I'm getting is that this person, whoever this is for you guys, male or female, um, they're very attractive, and you find them appealing. They're smart. They they appeal to your your mental. They appeal to your visual. Okay. They appeal to, you know, your, you know, what you would like to see as far as a relationship in a person. This person, I feel, has everything for you guys. The only thing that you, you're for sure about it, but I don't get that, you know, you've really had a chance to really establish a committed relationship here and that is what I feel that you guys are wanting to work towards okay and you want to communicate that to this person please show me more about the Queen of Swords here please please show me more about the Queen of Swords and then we have judgment that came in the reverse now judgment in the upright is all about something that has ended that you're trying to bring back. Judgment came in reverse under this Queen of Swords energy. So I'm I'm thinking that this person is expecting you guys, okay? They're not waiting on you and they haven't quite decided about you guys. They haven't quite decided if when you come, if or when you come or approach them, what they will do. They haven't decided yet, but they're expecting you. They know that they will have to decide whether or not they want to work on something with you guys, but I'm feeling that things are up in the air with them currently, okay? Please show me more about the Eight of Wands here. Please show me more about the Eight of Wands here. Then we have the King of Swords. Hmm. I feel like all of this, these swords are this individual knight queen king because this person is able to they're almost like a chameleon okay um, and, and not that they're manipulative but they address situations by the situation however they need to show up is how they show up and I feel like Right now, this person's definitely um, executing some forward movement in their life, and they have very, um, they are very strong, and they are very controlled over how they speak, how they communicate, and what they want. So, once you guys actually, or if you guys actually approach this individual with an offer, or what it is that you want to do. I definitely get that this will be a very mature conversation. I get that this person, um, they come across maybe kind of cool, calm, and collected. Um, definitely. I don't get that they're cold. No, I don't. But I do get that they are very controlled. They know how to handle themselves, okay? What energy is coming towards Leo? What energy is coming towards Leo? 
Ten of Pentacles. All right. That's where you're trying to get here with this Eight of Pentacles to the Ten of Pentacles. You're trying to establish this stability, this security, this relationship that can endure. Okay, what else? The Tower. But there's something very shocking. There's something that's ending here. There's something that's ending here. Some of you guys, I feel, are already in a relationship that you may be breaking away from to build somewhere else. To establish another connection or another relationship with someone here. Ending something with someone in order to build something with someone else. Please show me more about the Ten of Pentacles. The Nine of Wands. You guys are tired. You're tired and you're wanting something to be over here. You're, some, some of you, a lot of you are already in connections that you were trying to get out of because you feel like that's not working for you any longer in order for you to be with someone else that you already have your eye on, that you already have in mind, somebody that you share a history with, a past with here. Hmm. Please show me more about the tower energy. The five of swords. Somebody does not want you guys to walk away. There's somebody that does not want you guys to walk away. This person may also know about the other person that you guys are wanting are interested in or they have um, an inclination to believe that you guys are trying to end something with them and they're wanting to fight for it they're wanting to move on carry on with you guys here They're wanting to carry on with you guys here, but I see you wanting things to be over with someone and being interested in someone else, okay? So we have Scorpio here. We have Aquarius, uh, Gemini, Libra energy maybe. Um, maybe another Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy is here. Virgo is definitely here. Okay, guys, so that's what I have for you, and I'll be speaking with you guys soon. Bye now.